introduce the host to the classroom, Richard Let's go, let's Curtis. go, let's go! Fire it up, my guy! How we feeling? You ready to do this? Madeline, good to see you. Aurora and my teachers, yes! Oh my goodness! Did we just air high five? I love that. How about this? I'm air high five and you guys at home for being right here. And it's so good to see you because today, get ready. I have the students and I have my teachers from Gloucester Middle School in Gloucester City, New Jersey. They're all here. They're ready to go head to head, but they are because they are in my classroom. So here we go. Who wins this thing? Is it your favorite teachers or the students who are coming for those bragging rights and that big fat check? We find out now. Pop quiz is next. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Okay, guys, looking left and right. Usually I got to tell people to pick up their buzzers, but these are already in hand. These teams are ready to play. I'm not holding them back. First question is this. What is 10 multiplied by 10? First one in, Mr. Kimaglu. 100. 100 is right. I'm going to double these points up. Let's make it 20 points here. What two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of Hawaii? Aurora. Uh, HW. Incorrect. For the steel teachers. Mr. T. Uh, H-I. That's going to get you up to 30 points. What is the term for a natural artificial lake or pond used to store water for human use? Mr. T. Reservoir. Reservoir is right. What Disney Junior show is about a six-year-old girl who communicates with and heals stuffed animals and toys? Mr. Tomasetto. Dr. McStuffins. Incorrect. For the steal here, students, Madeline. Doc McStuffins? That's what we are looking for. What U.S. president was nicknamed Old Hickory? One second. Andrew Jackson was the name. An aspiring artist named Paige is forced to join the high school track team and ends up falling for one of her teammates in what 2022 Hulu movie? Aurora. Crush. That's going to get you there. And that's going to take us to the end of Pop Quiz. Teachers holding the lead with 40 points. And my students came out. They were saying, let's do this. They got this. And they put 20 points up on the board. Hey, today, it's all about Gloucester Middle School in Camden County, home of the Lions. Let's meet our teams. Hi, my name is Aurora. I'm in eighth grade. Uh, my favorite subject is science. And we're going to beat these teachers in this game. Hi, my name is Madeline. I'm in eighth grade, and just in case my brother's watching, I'm the better boy. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm in eighth grade, and I play the French horn. Hi, I'm Mr. Tomasetto, seventh grade ELA teacher. I have a haiku I'd like to dedicate to the students. We are so proud of you. You are the best of us all, but today, you lose. Hi, I'm Mrs. Fox Fuchs. Um, I have been the proud teacher in Gloucester City for 28 years. Teachers rock. Hey, my name is Jackie Kimigo, and I teach eighth grade. Get ready to beat these kids. Go Lions. Four years we've been doing this show now, and not one teacher has ever given us a haiku until Mr. Tomasetto blows the doors off this place. That was the best poem I've heard in a very long time. How long did it take you to write? Uh, like several days. Yeah, okay. Agonizing, well, editing, yeah. Yeah, it's worth it. And the students, they're shaking in their boots, but they're feeling good because they want to send him to detention more than ever. And I'm going to give him the chance. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. The amount of trash talk going on right now, just with hand gestures, you're done, is happening every single time. We go to break and those instructions, but now, guys, it's time to put some foot to pavement here. Someone's going to detention. Hopefully, it won't be you. And we start, students, with this category as we kick it to you. Pass or play on science. 
We'll play. We'll play. You're going to play. Feel free to sound a little bit more confident, you guys. This, we're going to need it right here. Here's your question. Which of the five, five main layers of Earth's atmosphere is between about 50 and 80 kilometers above Earth's surface and protects the planet from being hit by most meteoroids since they burn up there? You guys can talk about it as a team. Need an answer? Uh, the ozone layer? The mesosphere. Excuse me, the mesosphere. A lot of S's in there. That's what we were looking for. Not going to get you there. Aurora, Madeline, Jordan, hide. Because teachers, you get to send one of them. Who's it going to be? Who do you want to send? Who's having more fun? Captain. Yeah, Captain. Captain Aurora. Oh, out of the game. First attention ever. Yeah. That uh, Listen, you got to break the ice, go. and there's nothing like doing it on television here. Welcome to the Fox family, home of the detention. All right, teachers, back to you guys. And here is your category to pass or play on, social studies. Uh, we'll play. We'll play. You're going to play it. Here you go. What is the name of the ancient Egyptian god of the dead, embalming, the afterlife, and lost souls who is represented as a jackal or as a man with the head of a jackal? Two seconds. Answer. We're gonna go Nothing with in oh. there, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> Anubis is what we were looking for. I, I would have got it wrong. So there you go. Students, how about it? Which one of our teachers goes to detention? Enjoy every moment of this. Mr. Tomasetto. Mr. Tomasetto. You said it. And they're early in the show. You said this guy talks trash. And now he ends up in detention. All right. He goes. He joins Aurora. And you give him a little wave. Guys, category goes back to you, okay? Pass or play on sports. We'll play. Here you go. In baseball. The abbreviation ERA stands for what? Deep in thought, need an answer? Not baseball players. Earned run average is what we were looking right there for. All about the pitchers. Okay, Madeline, Jordan, one of you is going. Teachers, who's that gonna be? Madeline. We're going right down the list here. Madeline, you are headed to detention next. Feel free to take a seat right next to Mr. Tomasetto. Yikes. Okay, Jordan, my man, all by yourself. But don't worry, it's a teacher's category to pass or play on. Here you go. Children's books. Pass or play? I'm passing. Pass. <laughs> I don't like it. Jordan, do you love this? No. Okay, here's the question anyway. In a series of popular picture books by Katherine Holliber, what is the name of the little white mouse who doesn't want to do anything but dance? No answer. I hate to do this, it was Angelina Ballerina and you can dance your way over to detention. Mr. Tomasetto, come on back because the teachers win the round and grab the points. That's exactly what we thought was going to happen, right, teachers? Feeling good after the round. All right, you guys celebrate. I'm going to hang out with the students when we come back. Art class is next. I'm going to detention. What's up, Dave? Hey, not bad, you guys. Not bad. That smell is in the air and it's called Student Comeback. Welcome back to the show. The students and teachers are today from Gloucester Middle School in Camden County and art class is right now. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. All right, we're gonna start with the students today. So you have a big 
solution right here. Is this going to be red or blue, Aurora? Who are you going to take? Uh, take red. All right, take red. You stand back behind the board. Open that up. Take a look at your word. Hopefully you like it. All right, that's what you're, that's what you're going to draw today, okay? All right, uncap your marker. I'm going to take that. When I say go, five seconds is all you have. So make sure you go quick. And your time starts now. Okay. All right, stop right there. You guys ready? Talk it out here. What is it? Really work through it. No answer. You're gonna have five more seconds here. Okay, ready? Yeah. And go. Oh, okay, you ready? What is it? A, a crab? Come on. Is that your answer? <laughs> that was a good guess. I see the crab now, but not a crab. Okay, now listen. You're gonna get 10 seconds to finish this up. So think about how you can do that, all right? Time starts now. 10 seconds on the board. Now you guys, 10 points still up for grabs here, all right? Talk this out. Had a lot of good guesses so far. You've been doing well. Mm. Okay, stop right there. You did not draw out there, but we I think they can get it this round. What's it gonna be? What is that? Oh. Answer? Turtle? A turtle? <laughs> Tell them what it was, Aurora. It's supposed to be a remote control. And honestly, I can see it now. <laughs> now everyone at home is like, ah, it's a remote control. A crab is all. <laughs> I like the turtle. All right, we're going to switch the students out with the teachers. We'll give you a fresh board here. You got a chance to grab some points here. Take a look at your word. That's what you're drawing, OK? Grab a pen. Your five seconds starts right now. Okay. Wow, that, all right, hold on. I'm gonna erase where we were. Okay, you ready? Here we go. What was it? Broccoli. Broccoli? Broccoli. Is that her answer? Yes. That's the answer is broccoli on the first try. How on earth nice did they just get broccoli from that? That's called team dynamics, people. And that's what we need, students. And speaking of that, I know what you need because I'm on your team dynamic. That's some extra credit. I told you All right, before we go to break, more points on the line. And here is your question. How many counties are in the state of Delaware? Everyone at Delaware is like, I got this one. Do you yell it at the TV as loud as you can? Maybe these guys will hear you when we come back. Students, continue. Teachers, continue. Who's winning this thing? We'll see you right after the break. inside today it's the students and teachers from Gloucester Middle School in Camden County yeah teachers have the lead but guess what students they're second half teams and we're in the second half of the show before I asked the break here I had a little extra credit question and this was it how many counties are in the state of Delaware now it's not a lot I'm gonna tell you that but let's get to their answers and see what they said students Aurora what'd you say two, two counties <laughs> incorrect Teachers, did you get it right? Or incorrect, you guys aren't gonna believe this. Three was the answer, three Dad counties. It's Kent, Newcastle, and Sussex. New That's what we were looking for. Now listen, hey, Aurora, the vibes are right on this side. I see Madeline, she's giving out high fives, saying we got this, let's go. So if she can make this happen with you guys and you win this thing, what are you gonna do with that cash? I'm gonna donate it. All right, nice. I thought you were just gonna say keep it. Honestly, maybe go shopping with Madeline and Jordan. All of it sounds good. Hopefully you guys come back and win that thing. Good luck, guys. Teachers, how about you? What are you going to do with it? Go to the uh, Mark Ryan Scholarship Fund. Nice. And where does that fund uh, support? 
Uh, it, it, it supports the students of uh, Gloucester City. Nice. That's awesome. Well, guys, hopefully uh, you get that cash for yourselves. Only one team will. Here we go. You guys hop on the bus. What do you say we all take a field trip? Let's go. Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. Today, we're taking a field trip to the 2023 Pennsylvania Farm Show to test your knowledge of all things farms. Jen Fred from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is going to be asking the questions. Jen, can't wait to hear what's on the docket. Let's get to it. Hey there, the Pennsylvania Farm Show's Culinary Connection Stage is meant to get you inspired for your own farm to table culinary adventures. So let's ask you some questions that will get you ready to cook. What is the name of the leaf like layer on the outside of ears of corn that can be peeled away? First one in, Mr. T. Husk. Husk is right, get you up to 120. Students, hop on board this bus. I know you can do it, be quick out there. Jen, second question, all about farming and vegetables and it sounds delicious and that was a lot of potatoes. What do you got? The main hall of the farm show features this spectacular butter sculpture. Today, butter is primarily made in machines, but up until the late 1800s, butter was made by hand using what device? Mr. Kimaglu. Churning butter in a barrel? <laughs> Incorrect. Students, for the steal here. Madeline. A churn? That is what we were looking for. Drop the barrel. Here we go. Get you up to 30 points. Madeline, nice steal there. And we move on to this final question three. This one is important, team. Stay within 100. Good luck. And lastly, a question for your taste buds. What is the name of the popular Polish dish that is a small crescent-shaped dumpling traditionally stuffed with potatoes, cheese, or both? Sounds delicious. What do you have for us, Mr. Kimaglu? Come on, man. Pierogies. Pierogies is right. Oh, my goodness gracious. Big thank you to Jen Fred for leading our field trip today. Teachers! Sitting at 1.30, feeling good right now as they go into that final exam. And students, you got a lot to be proud of because you got 300 points ahead of you, three questions, and that all could be yours. You are within striking distance with still there. All right, here we go. Final exam time starts right now. Okay, here's the topic of today. It's parts of the body. All right, I'm going to ask both teams three questions about that topic. Each correct answer is 100 points. Teams, you'll work together, but not quite yet. Here are your questions. What is the term for the column of vertebrae, which act as the human body's central support structure? Question two. I bite my tongue. It's a bad habit. Our lyrics in a 2022 viral TikTok song by what musician? Finally. The heads of four U.S. presidents are carved into Mount Rushmore. What are the last names of two of them? You're looking for two answers there. Okay, go to commercial break. I'm putting 60 seconds on the clock. These guys are going to answer as many questions as they can. Can the students do it? I say yes. Will I be right? We'll find out after this. Here in the final exam, welcome back to the show. You made it for the perfect part. The end, Gloucester Middle School, teachers, students, they're going head to head, right? 300 points on the line and we are in the final exam. Here's the topic, parts of the body and question one was this. What is the term for the column of vertebrae which act as the human body central support structure? Students, Jordan, we start with you. It says spine. Spine's gonna be right, get you up to 130 and a tie game. Mr. E, what'd you say? Mm. Spinal column, also good to go. Get you guys up to 2.30 with question two. 
I bite my tongue, it's a bad habit. Our lyrics in a 2022 mega viral TikTok song by what musician? Madeline, you said. Steve Lacey. For 100 points and ties the game at 230. Mrs. Fox Fuchs, what'd you say? Uh, I said Bad Bunny, which. That was a great <laughs> guess, actually. I love that. Bad Bunny, but no points. And we move to question three, all tied up. The heads of four U.S. presidents are carved into Mount Rushmore. What are the last names of two of them? Students, let's see what you said. You need two. Washington and Lincoln. That's two of them, and you take the lead. Teachers, I need two or the students win. Washington and Roosevelt. That's good to go. Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Lincoln. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie game. That means we go to a tiebreakers. Teams, grab your buzzers. I will ask one question about our final exam topic. The first team to buzz in and get it correct will win this game. If you buzz in and get it wrong, the other team has a chance to pop in and steal this win. The question is this. In Disney's Encanto, what body part does Mirabelle cut that gets healed by her mother's food? Jordan. Her palm. He said palm for the win! He gets it in the tiebreaker! And students keep their teachers! Get out of here and get this check! What a comeback! We got the assistant principal to hang out. Can you believe this game? Guys, come out here and celebrate. Thank you for being here in the classroom. We're going to see you next time with a brand new school. What a comeback! Wow, you guys, that was awesome! Woo!